Steroids? I'm not on steroids, mate. I just, I've been trained for 10 years and I just work harder than the next person. Steroids? Don't even know how they work. And we've got the B12 for weight loss, pills versus... Oh, them gains, man. Look at them gains. Full nanny bra. Uh, isn't it hilarious when people say, I'm not on steroids. Do I look like I'm only like 180 pounds, man, dripping wet. Same Lance Armstrong, same line Lance used. Uh, anyway, so B12 injections versus pills for weight loss. B12 injections are very, 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 very popular in the weight loss scene. Fitness models, you know, drug up fitness models, everyone's using B12 shots. Does it help with weight loss? Yes, it can in some people. Some people, I don't like needles, you know? And that's fair enough. You can do pills. Does they work? 50-50. When you inject something in your body, it's 100% absorbed into your system. When you uh, do something like orally, consume a little pill, digestion, you know, how fucking legit is it? All right, people are buying fucking supplements of how legit are these? At least with an ampule coming from a big pharma lab, you know what's in it. All right, there's ingredients lists, you can check it out. But when you buy a pill from whatever, the pills and shit aren't regulated by the FDA very strictly at all. At least with the injections, you can look up and go, oh, no, 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 yes, yes, yes. So the injection goes straight into your body. And again, if you read carefully, the main people who object to injections say, oh, but sublingual is just as good, are the people who are fucking pussies and they're scared of a little shot. It's a tiny little needle, where's... This is, okay, just as I did before. Here's your Kino Body Scooby Needle. And where's your, here we go, there's a little insulin needle here. So it's tiny, it's like a little pinprick, man. Look at that. You can't even see the fucking needle versus the, the Kino Body Deluxe. Look at that. This is like a little in your arm, mate. You can't even feel it. People think it's like this epic thing. There's a naked person from past then. You know, like, this is crazy, man. Like, what are you scared of? Like, did you want results or not? Like, fuck. So, to answer your question, I didn't answer in the last video, what's the deal? The pills work? Maybe. Clinically, though, if you have a serum B12 deficiency and elevated homocysteine, the only, only proven 100% clinical way to reverse that isn't from B12 sublinguals. It isn't from eating a steak. It isn't from eating eggs. It's not from eating any raw fucking dead flesh. The only way, 100,000% to reverse that is with B12 injections, intramuscular. All right, so you can scale this net looking around and you'll keep coming up against that brick wall. If you want 100% insurance, you gotta shoot, you jab it in, it's a lot like this. It's like one, two, three, boop, aspirate, count to 10, one, two, three, four, five, boom, done. Easy. All right, don't step in the use of syringes. So that's just basic shit like that. People are just like, you, if we have this fear of the unknown and then we let that in life put this emotional bullshit wall up that prevents us taking real action because we have this little fear inside. You've got to ask the question, why wouldn't you want to do a basic thing like that? Oh, because I'm scared of needles because I'm not a heroin addict. Or like, what? You know? So be careful in life what you miss out on, what you let prevent you from getting the results you want because you have this little, little thing going on in your head. Be careful with that.